depending on the viewpoint of uh, viewpoint which we adapt whether it's a government viewpoint or um, uh, a viewpoint of uh, the highway safety administration or FHWA federal highway administration or the viewpoint of Google or Tesla no one can deny that we are at a threshold of the autonomous technologies revolution for transportation for future transportation and the fact that the technology is out there for these autonomous vehicles to ply on roads cannot be denied and and it has been it is being tested whether or not uh, the cost effectiveness will be achieved whether or not uh, the the required safety guarantees will be achieved uh, will need to be seen in the future but 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 big private entities are making good improvement in these technologies. So it is true that uh, in some form or the other, uh, such technologies are going to affect the future of transportation. No one can deny that, neither the government nor these private entities and, 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 and nor the users of the cars themselves. Now the question is that when such technology is being deployed or will be available for large scale um, uh, adoption, what is the design? not just the design of a car, but the design of the cyber-physical system on which they will be operating. How will they be communicating with each other? Will they be having uh, the shared road space with uh, drivers, of, uh, with, with human drivers? Uh, will they be communicating through a roadside infrastructure? Will they be acting as taxis or will they be acting as uh, personal vehicles? Uh, who will be managing them and all these questions are really cyber physical questions in my opinion and while the design the technological design of this, these vehicles is itself very uh, is a very very challenging and, 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 and a big sort of agenda uh, the question of security to be built in the question of safety properties to be built in and proper incentives for these new entities which are emerging as players in this, in this, in this broad set of uh, developments have to be taken into account. So to, to prevent, to prevent bad, really bad things from happening, not just for example accidents due to errors of human drivers or a drunken you know, driver or an inexperienced driver, but, but we should also try to ensure that uh, the, the software which is there in the car and the communications which enable these cars to talk with each other and with the infrastructure is secure enough so that uh, bad things cannot happen, loss of lives will not happen and, and, and entities should have proper incentives in place, proper regulatory oversight in place so that uh, a desired efficient outcome is achieved.